Hey everybody, this is Nick from Android Headlines. Today, I'm going to be bringing you an app review of the Leo Privacy Guard app. Now, the Leo Privacy Guard app is designed to keep your privacy on your phone and keep prying eyes away from your personal information, away from certain apps, and basically just keeping your phone free of having people spy on you. It's not intended necessarily to be a perfect security replacement for all your different security needs, but it definitely will help if you're looking to lock some of your apps down and keep others from looking at your stuff. So we'll go ahead and launch the app. Right from the get-go, you'll find that you have to draw a pattern to unlock. So we'll go ahead and just draw the wrong one to see what it does. That's great. It tells you you only have five attempts total. So you will get locked out if you don't do the right one after a few attempts. Right from the main screen, you'll find that there are three different sections. You have the uh, app lock mode here. The second one is just an overall protection screen that tells you how protected your phone is. And the third one is just a My Apps detailed view. So it'll tell you all the different apps that are on here, and we'll go over that stuff in a little bit. So first things first, we'll start at tab number one, locking your apps down. So right now I already have one app locked, that would be Hangouts. You can jump into the app lock mode here. So there's different modes. You have a guest mode and a home mode. By default, home mode keeps everything unlocked. Guest mode has locked apps. So when you first enable them, you can pick the different apps you want to lock. If you want to relock apps or unlock apps at any given point in time, you would just go to the app lock section. It gives you an alphabetized list of the apps on your phone, including some other ones that are on here for uh, purposes of using them very often and that sort of thing. Locking an app on the screen is very simple. You pretty much just click the button. It'll put a little lock next to your app, and those are all going to be locked. Click it again and it'll unlock the app. Favorite apps are denoted by the star on the icon, so it sorts those by priority of apps that are most used so that you don't have to go scrolling through a huge list of apps if you have a bunch installed just to find the ones that you use all the time. Plus, that might help you know exactly what apps you want to lock. So, you know, necessarily going through here and seeing that. I usually don't use Google+, Plus, which maybe is not a surprise to some people. So I wouldn't necessarily care about locking it down so much as I would maybe say about Hangouts or WhatsApp or something like that, where I might have more private conversations going on. The purpose of this, again, is just to keep apps from prying eyes or just to keep apps locked down for a number of different reasons. So let's say you have kids. You want to hand your phone to your kids. You don't want them sending an email to your boss on accident. You know, whether it's just gibberish or if the kids think it's funny to send something bad, whatever the reason, you know, you don't always want those things to be happening, obviously. So it's a pretty easy way to lock that down. Another way besides just a simple pin unlock is to go to the app cover section. Now, what this will do is basically make a false lock screen on each of the apps. So instead of just having the pin code, you have a fake lock screen. So for instance, if you pick the error cover, it'll pop up a little message saying, sorry, privacy guard, or I guess whatever app it is has stopped. Normally you would click the close button, but the close button doesn't seem to work. Only you would know though that you actually grab the close button and slide to the right, and now it's unlocked. So we'll go ahead and enable that, and we'll go ahead and show you. We'll just launch Hangouts since that's one of the apps, and bam, there we go. Look, Hangouts has stopped. So you'd think, oh, well crap, Hangouts stopped. I guess I can't use that. I'll just go home. Forget it. Now, obviously somebody looking at that would think your phone is screwed up or something like that. However, we would know. Slide on the close button, and here you go. Now you get the pattern to unlock. Go ahead and unlock this, and here we go. Now we're in Hangouts. Very good. So, that works pretty well. Next section we're going to figure out is the protection section. So you click on here, you click on the little shield right in the middle. It goes ahead and scans your phone for various things that the Leo app protects against. And it'll tell you, right now my privacy level is alert. So, in order to improve my privacy level, I can do this thing. I can lock some more apps. So, um, again, any apps you might use commonly, uh, there's a certain percentage of apps that'll make this alert go down further. If you're not really worried about other apps, I would just ignore this section, of course. You can also do hide images and uh, fake images like we just showed you on different apps. There's also hide videos, um, so you can hide um, you can hide anything in your gallery. So if somebody wants to go through your gallery, find some maybe of those uh, photos that you don't want people seeing, whether it's photos of your kids or photos of something else, of course, then uh, you can go ahead and hide those. So from here we can do any of those features. So for instance, we'll go into hide image, hit add. I got a picture of me and my son that I picked earlier. So maybe we just don't want everybody to see that in the world. We can go ahead and hide that one. So now that image is hidden from the rest of the world. So if we go into the gallery, you'll find that if we go into camera here, that image is now non-existent. So I have these other pictures that I took in here, but the one that I just hid is not there at all. So the actual image is completely removed from being viewed on the phone. So of course, if you want that image unhidden, you would just go back in here to hide photos and it would show you the photos that are hidden.
So you can basically just click them, hit unhide, or of course, I guess if you want to delete it, you can delete it straight from here too. The same protection is also offered for videos. So if you have any videos that you don't want anybody to see, of course, you can do the exact same thing here. So the other thing you can do in here is you can hide contacts. You can actually make them private from whoever is viewing it. So let's say you have a couple of friends who don't get along. You don't want your friend to see that you're friends with another person, or let's say there's something more nefarious going on. Whatever the reasons, you can go in here pick any one of your contacts and you can hide the contact from being viewed. You can also go in here and make private SMS messages. So you can only view these SMS messages if you've gone into the Leo app and unlocked it. That includes also calling people. So you have a private call log in here and basically anybody who's on this list, those messages will only appear in this section of the app rather than in your basic messaging or call log app. Last but not least, of course, is the My App section, which basically just gives you a little rundown of all the apps that are installed on this phone. So if I go down here and I see, oh, I don't want 3D Mark installed anymore, I can go ahead and click Remove. It'll tell you you want to uninstall this app. Basically goes through the usual system dialogues, but it's a quick way to look at what apps are very large, what apps are taking up spaces, and of course, how much memory is being used at the given point in time. There's a quick little app that's here. It's just called Boost, and it does exactly what you think it is. Click it, cool little rocket pops up, and it frees your RAM. So, I don't know if you want to use that. It's a nice quick little feature. Freeze up RAM if you need it. And then, of course, the main selling point of this app is going to be the privacy sections, which are done pretty well. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the review. Until next time.